we are standing next to this guy, ever so silently, not being detected whatsoever, and we are about to battle him. Team Galactic will take control of everything. You can try all you want, but you can't do anything alone, so we are battling Team Galactic in the, uh, in the Mount Coronet, the Mount Coronet. Uh, it's just Mount Coronet, but uh, anyway, uh, hello and welcome back to Pokemon Platinum Version. I'm the Legendary Pokemon Master, as you probably know, and we are battling people in Mount Coronet, like I said. Go Magmortar, we are gonna probably do a, a flamethrower, because that's like our OP move. The foes Glemiao used Sucker Punch. Yes. Uh, it's, it's burned now, and that doesn't matter, because we're probably gonna take it out with a flamethrower. Yes, to die. Um, let's, yeah, that's, that's just gonna one-hit KO it, isn't it? Uh, yes, okay. So Glamio is down the foes. Glamio fainted. Magmortar gained a boosted 933 XP points. Galactic Grunt is about to send in Golbat. Will you switch your Pokemon? No, I don't need to. Um, this is terribly focused, isn't it? We're gonna focus in better. Um, what will Gul uh, Magmortar do? We're gonna try another Flamethrower, because that's, once again, our OP move. Yes! Okay, there's literally nothing to say at this point in the game, because you know Flamethrower is probably gonna one-hit KO, like, every th single thing, so... The foe's Golbat fainted. Magmortar gained a boosted 2,251 XP points, and player defeated Galactic Grunt. All you gave me was the taste of defeat. Austin got $1,640 for winning. No one cares about what you have to say, uh, we just take your money. Um, what's up here? Uh, stuff. I think this is actually the final egg entrance thingy, but we have to battle this person first. What do you, what do you have to say, buddy? You've worked so hard to get here, you should be proud of yourself, and now I'll send you packing home with my awesome Pokemon, which is probably a glammy I want a Golbat again. You are challenged by Galactic Grunt. Galactic Grunt sends out Golbat. Go, Magmortar! Uh, yeah, it was right. <laughs> um, let's try another... F Actually, no. Let's try a Fire Punch. Um, yeah, that, that's basically it. I think that that should probably take it out. Uh, yeah, okay, so Golbat is dead. Golbat has fallen to the ground. Golbat was not moving in the first place, so that did not make me assume that it was alive, but... I, I, I don't know, it's dead now for sure. Magmortar grew to level 58. Magmortar wants to learn Fire Blast. That is actually a really good move. I actually... Let's see. I'm just gonna check that, that, uh, move real quick. That is, uh, 120, 85. Yes, I'm going to get rid of, uh, Overheat for that, because Fire Blast is honestly, honestly, uh, much better than Overheat. Overheat has 20 more power, but, um, you know, yeah, it, it gives you, like, you can't use any special attacks at all for the rest of the, uh, duration of the battle. So, we are about to face a Krogunk, and we are gonna use, um, or at least we're gonna try to use a Fire Blast... Uh, let's see how much damage that does. Uh, the foe's Krogunk used Sucker Punch. Magmortar used Fire Blast. And, uh, I forgot what the downside to Fire Blast is. I don't think there is one. I'm not sure. Uh, Krogunk is down for the count, obviously. <laughs> that did, like, that does a massive, a massive amount of damage. Magmortar gained a boosted 1,066 X points. And Galactic Grunt is about to send in Murkrow. Will you switch your Pokemon? No! Galactic Grunt sent out Murkrow. We're gonna go with another Fire Blast, because we can. Um, I actually probably should save those for up ahead, but, uh, no. No, we're just, uh, using it on a level 41 Murkrow. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's that. A critical hit! The foes Murkrow fainted. Magmortar gained a boosted 1,408 X points, and player defeated Galactic Grunt. Ooh, how dare you? That's how you spun them a generosity? What? Since when did you talk about generosity in your little speech that you... St oh, 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 okay, so that happened. I just literally turned around, and Bronzong just comes packing out of nowhere. A wild Bronzong appeared, so let's run from that, because we have no interest in that. It's no Chimeco, like the last episode. Got away safely! Let's go on our way here. It's, uh, up here, yeah. Okay, so that's the end. I'm just gonna... I, I, oh, no. Uh, I don't need to see that. I'm just gonna save, just because, um... I, I'm scared of what lies ahead. I, I, I legit am, because, I don't know, I might die or something. Saving, do not turn off the power. Yes, I, I, I really never had to, uh, like, soft reset on a Pokemon game in a Let's Play ever, so, uh, that would be a first, but I'm just gonna focus in a bit better, because we have another environment here. What do you guys have to say? Our boss is about to do something spectacular, don't get in the way. Of course you will, won't you? That's why the two of us... We'll team up to take you in on an epic duel! Oh no, we're in an epic duel! That was a trap. That was a trap. 
what do you have to say for yourselves, uh, Galactic Grunt and Galactic Grunt? Galactic Grunt and Galactic Grunt send out some two weak Pokemon that we don't, um, really need to stress ourselves over. Let's use, um, a Flamethrower first off on Stunky, and then we're going to use a... Hmm, I think we could probably use a Strength on Krogunk and get away with it. I don't know. Uh, Flamethrower is used on Stunky. That's, that's dead, obviously. <laughs> and, um... Krogunk might, uh, die from that, I'm not sure. Let's go, the foe's Stunky fainted, Magmor gained a boosted 519x points, Empoleon gained 346 of which, and Empoleon used Strength. Yes, minimize and then maximize! <laughs> um, let's see how much damage that, not, not, not quite, a, uh, as much as I wanted, but... It was able to do a super effective move on Magmortar, which was so super effective. <laughs> Galactic Grunt send out Glamiao, let's try a flamethrower on that. Uh, yes, on, uh, that, and then we're gonna use a strength on Krogunk, because that should probably take it out. Uh, for some reason his flamethrower is going over Empoleon onto Glamiel. Uh, I am not gonna question that, this is a Nintendo DSi that we're playing this on, but the foe's Glamiel fainted Magmortar gained a boosted 465x points, Empoleon gained 310, and Empoleon used Strength, which will take out Krogunk and we'll get more exp, which is fun because I get to read out the title card again. The foe's Krogunk fainted, Magmortar gained a boosted Bly. I don't even need to say it at this point, you could probably read it, and I don't think you're even interested in it anyway, so... Galactic Run sent out Krogunk. They, um, yeah, okay, so he has another Krogunk. I don't know why you don't evolve either of those, considering you have two of them, but, uh... Magmortar used a Flamethrower, that should probably take it out. Now it kind of makes more sense that the uh, flamethrower is going over Empoleon and to the... I Actually, no, it's, it still doesn't make sense, but... The foe's Krogunk fainted, and we have won this battle. In the epic duel has been um, lost for Team Galactic and won for Austin. So, um, yeah, yeah, you could, you could, you could all die. <laughs> um, yeah, we got stuff for winning. Uh, we are not capable of slowing you. We will let you pass so you can get pulverized by your bosses. Okay, what's back here? There's probably like items or something back here. I don't know. That se it seems kind of uh. Like a, a, a thing that would happen back there. Let's try the other side real quick. Um, okay, there's nothing there. Let me, let me try the dowsing machine, actually. Okay, so there's nothing up here. It doesn't matter. Let's go on our way here. Uh, these guys are kind of important, all of these guys. Where do you think you're going? I won't let you disturb our boss. If you're not going to listen, you'll have to go through me first. After all, you made me look bad more times than I care to remember. And I'll be next. You might be tough, but this time, the gloves are coming off. Hold on one second. Don't you stare start the party without me. That That's a cringy line if it was said in real life. <laughs> remember me? I'm here to get my revenge. Ha. If it isn't that little boy, the little crybaby from Lake Cutie, do you toughen up a bit? Sure, let's battle two on two. Okay, so we're battling two on two. That's a G. Uh, because of GG, I don't know. You're challenged by Commander Mars and Commander Jupiter, which basically has a uh, Team Galactic Grunt remix playing. The thing about the Team Galactic, um, like, song, I guess it is, or a theme, is that, um, it kind of sounds too casual for, like, what's happening. Like, they're trying to destroy the universe. And, uh, it, it's just, like, mm, some some nice, like, weird, casual, jazz-ish music. The foe's bronze or fainted. Magmortar gained 1,017 XP points. Munchlax doesn't gain any because it's not ours. And it will probably suck at battling this bronzor. Munchlax used stockpile. Yeah, it, it does suck at battling this Bronzor. Munchlax's defense rose. Munchlax, Munchlax's uh, special defense rose. Commander Jupiter sent out Skun Tank. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna get that with a Fire Blast because it's kind of toughish. Uh, yeah, die. And uh, we get we get that cool background right there. And uh, yeah, that that's basically it for Skun, Skun Tank, I believe. Although I do think it has good special defense. Yeah, it does. So, um, we're gonna need to use another Fire Blast on that. I guess that was supposed to be a challenge to Skun Tank, because it was able to survive the Fire Blast. But the foe's Skun Tank used Poison Jab. Oh no. The foe's Bronzor used Confuse Ray. Oh no. And, um, well, I don't know what's more of a threat to me right now. Skun Tank, with, with its potential ability to poison me, 
or that Bronzor with its ability to, to conf I'm gonna take out the Bronzor first, because it's gonna be easy. And then, um, yeah, that's, that's dead. And then we could, uh, move along our way here, I'm gonna get that. Uh, the, the, um, the things with the screen have made a comeback, folks. It's super effective, the foes of Bronzor fainted. Magmortar gained a boosted 1017x points. The foes Skun Tank used another poison jab, please do not poison me. Uh, okay. Um, that, that's that's gonna be bad because Magmortar's like our crush, uh, our crutch for uh, skill. So uh, Magmortar is hurt by the poison. Okay, that's gonna be a problem. Commander Mars sent up per ugly. Um, let's try a bag. Let's try a HP restore. Oh, we have a full restore, so that works out very well in this situation. They used the full restore. You are healed up, and, um, we're gonna take out Skun Tank, because that's gonna be annoying. And, uh, Purgly probably won't even do anything. But it's, it's like the normal type version of Skun Tank, basically. Magmortar's HP was restored by 165 points, and the foes Purgly used Slash. Um, okay. The foes st Why are you picking on me? You're like, look, Munchlax barely has any damage. You got me poisoned again. Why? Munchlax snapped out of confusion and used Stockpile. Yeah, thanks for, um, helping. <laughs> Munchlax's defense rose, and special defense, that's so helpful. <laughs> oh, that's gonna hurt. Um, we probably have a status restore, so I'm not gonna go, um, and use that yet, because I want to get enough fire blast beforehand. But we're gonna die. Of course it's a critical hit. Of course Magmortar fainted. Of course the Fos Gun Tank used Poison Jab. It was probably gonna use it on me, but it can't. Um, yeah, so, uh, Screech. Uh, okay. I don't know why you stockpiled if you're using Screech. The foe's light screen war- Oh, we're gonna try Empoleon, because that's our only other viable Pokemon. Um, let's try a... Hmm, I don't want to do a I'm gonna do a Surf. I don't care, I think Munchlax could survive it. The foe's gun tank used Flamethrower. Why? Is it, why Why me? Like, well, and and why does the skunk know how, how to breathe fire? Empoleon used Surf! Uh, that's gonna hurt Munchlax also, but yeah, it, it could withstand it, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Yeah! Please don't die, Munchlax. Munchlax used Swallow! Wog. That, that, that's probably gonna help you out a lot, Munchlax. Munchlax regained health, Munchlax's stockpiled effect wore off, um, well, yeah, um, that's what happens. The foes probably used Slash, um, oh, that did a lot of damage, I, I'm not sure if Munchlax could survive this next, uh, Surf, uh, that's gonna be better. Oh, well, we can survive that, and Polyon used Surf, uh, Perugly's gonna go down, or, or not gonna go down, um, Skunt, Skunt Tank, oh, oh, Skunt Tank, oh, well, I'm so confused as to what to say right now. Perugly did, as opposed to my, um, perception, did go down. Um, and then, uh, Skun Tank, I thought at first, did not go down, because it didn't get damaged immediately, but it did go down. And Munchlax was not able to withstand it, so I hope that, uh, Gavin has, a uh, has another, uh, good Pokemon. And Polyon grew to level 41. Um, yeah, that, that's probably gonna be useful, honestly. Commander Mars sent out Golbat. Please have another good Pokemon. Yeah, yeah, okay, Staraptor's pretty good, that's like an OP Pokemon, anyway. Commander Jupiter sent out Golbat! Uh, oh, well, well, um, um, okay, then. Uh, Staraptor's Intimidate cuts the foe's Golbat's attack! Staraptor's Intimidate cuts the foe's Golbat's attack! Okay, um, we're gonna just use Surf on the whole party right here. Uh, that's gonna take out the Golbat, maybe, I don't know. Uh, or not! I, I don't know. The foe's Golbat used Air Cutter. Um, that's, that's, yeah. Ow. Uh, or at least you use it on Starap. Uh, well, apparently it hurts everyone. The foes go by to use Sludge Bomb. Thank you for using Staraptor as a meat shield. Um. Eh, okay. I don't want Staraptor to get knocked out because he's hard. Uh, he's, uh, he's tough. But, okay, okay. I, I just knocked him out. <laughs> Staraptor fainted. Okay, you could get hurt. Uh. And you could get hurt. I think you're dead. Golbat number two, I guess it is. The foes Golbat fainted. Empoleon gained 1,611 X points. Go Rapidash. Um, I'm gonna knock out your last Pokemon. The foes Golbat used Poison Fang. Uh, this is gonna hurt Rapidash. It's a shame that it's gonna get knocked out because I'm gonna use 
the surf. Oh, I, I think it saved itself because, uh, go, you know, Golbat is dead. If Golbat did not die, then then Rapidash would be dead. So every, everything, uh, Rapidash's life clung on to that Fire Blast, and it worked. Mars and Jupiter have been defeated. Sheesh! I thought I would have done. I thought I should have done the fighting myself. Huh? <laughs> You've toughened up, but you're no match for a boss. Austin got seven thousand three hundred sixty dollars for winning. <laughs> my Pokemon are tough, right? I can get even tougher. But you know, that's it for us. We've hit the wall. Austin, I'll help you with this. Oh, thank you. Why didn't you do that in the battle? <laughs> Gavin fully rehealed um, my team. Hey, Austin, this is it. It's your show now. What? 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 What, what are you doing? Everything is ready for the creation of a new world. Now all will end, and everything will begin. With this, the red chain made from the crystals of the three lake Pokemon, and this, the red chain I replicated with technological means. With these red chains, I will pry open the portal to another dimension. I command that you unleash your power for me. Wogue. That, that, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna be quiet for this. Dialga, the mythical Pokemon, and Master of Time. And the other, Palkia, the mythical Pokemon, and the Master of Space and Dimensions. That sound effect. Woke. Whack. Oh, they're both here. They're, they're gonna kill us all. I've waiting so, waited for so long for this moment, Dialga and Palkia. Shaping this world is a double spiral of time and space. Yes, the very things that you have the ability to control. You will do my bidding. I will have your abilities as mine. With the power I wield, I will create an entirely new world. The incomplete and ugly world we have can now disappear. I am resenting everything to resetting everything to zero. Nothing can remain. It is all for making the ultimate world, a world of complete perfection. Nothing so vague and incomplete as spirit can remain. Hey. Oh. Well, well there's a thing going on on the bottom of the screen. It's like Yuxi Mesper and Azelf like appearing. But, uh, you can't see that, unfortunately, so... Yeah. Um... <laughs> yeah, there, there, there they are, so, um... Blam-ish. Oh, he's on the bottom screen, it says, I should have expected as much. Yuxi, the being of knowledge, Azelf, the being of willpower, and Mesprit, the being of emotion. The Pokémon have come to protect Sinnoh, pathetic and worthless. Worthless. It takes the three of them and the three Lake Pokémon that symbolize spirit to balance each, uh, each e either the Pokémon of time or space. But they can't maintain balance against the two. Not when both Dialga and Palkia are here. Their coming together here is in vain. Now, Austin, you've constantly interfered with my plans, but you will be forgiven. After all, there will remain no spirit for all time when, for all time when I am done. All spirit will disappear. It will be ripped away. From you, from your Pokemon, from those precious to you. It is my time. My dream will be a reality. What is this pressure I feel? Something is enraged. Um, Wogue. What is, what is, oh. A thing. A thing is happening. I'm gonna do that. Interesting. So, there's a Pokemon that can only appear as a shadow. Regardless, the effort is rash and foolish. I have harnessed the powers of Dialga and Palkia. Uh, don't die. Come, come back. I, Cyrus, won't have any more inter- I think he's dead. I think he deaded. Whoa! Oh, it's Cynthia. Uh, we 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 need a better focus on that because that that's kind of important. Cynthia, no! Blam! Bling! Oh, okay.
Okay, you're not gonna do it. Oh. Um, um, do, do it. Boom! Okay. So, so, so that, yeah, we're here. Cynthia, I am so, I'm so sorry I took so long. I think I finally found the answer from studying the myths. When this world was made, Dialga and Palkia appeared. Apparently there was one more Pokemon that appeared at the same time. A Pokemon with as much power as Dialga and Palkia. But also one whose name was never to be spoken. Giratina. You, you said it. It is said to lurk in another world. A world on the opposite side of ours. That's why it, it was a shadow. It must have been Giratina. The pillars are distorting. It's because of the portal. It's joined us to the other world. If it's not closed, the distortion world will spread from Sinnoh and beyond. Our world will be destroyed. Are you ready? We have to chase Cyrus. I'm not, I'm not really ready. I'm gonna save first. You need to get ready? I'll wait here. Yes. So, I think that's good for this episode. We are uh, kind, of, kind of on a cliffhanger-ish thing here. I hope you enjoyed this episode, because it took quite a bit of effort to make, honestly. Um, yeah, with, um... Stuff, I, I guess. I don't know. I, that That's basically it. Nothing that I need to go too in-depth into. Um, but I don't feel like jumping in the portal right here. Because I want to save that for the next episode for you guys. So, um, I'm just gonna pretend that there's an animation here. And, uh, thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video. Kaboom, kabing, kabam, po-boom.